What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to the second episode right here of our Pokemon Moon walkthrough. And yes, in our last episode, we, uh, what, what was it? What, what, what ended up happening? Yeah, in the last episode, we got acquainted with the Alola region. We became heroes right away. Met a legendary Pokemon. Hell, we even uh, had a little bit of a throwback to the Spearows attacking a, a, a defenseless Pokemon. And now, here we are, ready to choose our next starter Pokemon. Which we should have done quite a few, uh, few years ago and all that stuff. So, after considerable thinking and all that crud and whatever, I have, you know, I've, I've been told that two of the three Pokemon are very, very popular within this walkthrough. One of them being Rowlet and the other one being Linton. Mainly because they both evolve into some pretty strong Pokemon right here. Don't know what the reason, why the hate behind Poplio is, but I think that that right there solidified my choice. Not only that, but hey, it evolves into a fairy type Pokemon. So yes, guys, the next starter in our list of starters right here is Poplio, the water type Pokemon. Yes, I will be choosing this guy right here. And bam, he is happy. Wonder if it's a he or a she. Do not know. But to me, I am choosing that Pokemon because, well, goddamn. So misunderstood. And it evolves into a pretty good Pokemon at the very end. Well, Hala is right here. He's like, only when you uh, you have chosen each other, you can truly call, call each other partners. So, let us see if the little Poppyo there also decides to choose you. Alright, get over here. You are going to be my partner. You should have been my partner a few years uh, back, but it's going to happen right now. And Poplio is ga gazing at you quite sweetly. Uh-oh. He doesn't choose us. Blark! Uh-oh. Could this be the next L that good old Draven takes? No! Look at this. Oh my god. You lifted Poplio gently in your arms. Holy crud. So we got Poplio as our next Pokemon right here. Bark, bark. The water type Pokemon Poplio seems to be preening a bit. So, so little Poplio has accepted you as well, Draven. Having accepted one another, you'll surely be friends for life. Alright, so it is time for the nicknaming portion of this whole thing right here. Now, Poplio kind of reminds me of like, you know... It looks like a Jester, a uh, Harlequin and all that stuff, and there is a, uh, well, there is pretty much a, a, there is pretty much a name I would love to give it, mainly because it does look like a Harlequin and all that stuff. It's a guy too, so without further ado, let's go ahead and name this guy Joker. That's right, Joker the Poplio, which eventually it would evolve into some pretty awesome Pokemon too, Prima Donna or something like that. So Joker has been added to your party, and well, what happens next? Nice to meet you, Poplio. Phew. Oh, when did you get out again? I know that uh, Kahunahala and the Professor will keep you safe from any harm, but you, you, you should stay still. Uh, you should still stay in the bag and out of sight. It's safer that way. I think you chose a wonderful Pokemon. Please take good care of it. Hmm, I could. That's it, Draven. Now that you've got a Pokemon, you're a real Pokemon trainer, yeah? And here's a lovely gift from me to help you make a, a special cousin. And look at this. We get ourselves a Pokedex. A Pokedex is a real high-tech uh, kind of tool, yeah? That can automatically record facts about any Pokemon you meet. Your, par your new partner, Poplio, is already registered, so... Oh, yeah! And check this out. We got ourselves the trainer passport that I put together for you. Now, why don't you go introduce your new friend to your mom, Draven? Okay, maybe I will. Maybe I will. But let's go ahead and take a look at our very first Pokemon in the Alolo region. And it is Joker the Poplio right here. And this guy doesn't have the best speed. But eventually it evolves into a fairy type Pokemon. And there are a lot of trainers here, a lot of main trainers that you can actually beat with just a fairy type Pokemon. It does well against this guy, or you can do well against those. As you can see, it does have Pound, Water Gun, Growl, and well, 
There's not a lot of stuff. It does have, a, its ability is Torrent, so, you know, it's got a standard stuff right there for Poplio and all that crud. So, let us move on right here and uh, take the uh, take the Pokemon world by storm now. We got to go straight to our mama to introduce the Pokemon right here. Now, before we do anything, something else happens, and oh my god, it, oh god, it, could this be our rival? Hey, you and me, let's have a Pokemon battle. <laughs> Where is the fire, boy? And what kind of Pokemon uh, battle uh, would, it, would that be with a B where you don't even give me a name first, eh? Oh, damn. What's going on here? Fair enough. Then I am How. And my partner Pokemon's Litten. Your Poplio looks really cool, too. Thanks, I guess. Yeah, so let's battle. I couldn't wait for you to find your way to Icky Town, so I've been all over looking for you. Um, I don't really like to see Pokemon battles where Pokemon can get hurt, but I'll watch for you. Oh yeah, your first battle already! Just have your Pokemon dish out some moves and see who wins! Woo! I appreciate you being willing to take on my grandson here. I expect a no-holds-barred battle from the both of you. Oh, it's grandson. Okay, so... Alright, let's do this. Bring it on. New rivals, new beginnings. Let's get this going. You will battle me, right? Yes, I, and I won't lose. I will not lose. All right. Very well then. Let's uh, let the Pokemon battle begin. So here it is, guys. Our very first Pokemon battle in Alola, and it's against our rival How. And well, he did pick the Pokemon weakest to our typing. So let's go right ahead and just destroy his Litten with our Joker right here. As you can see, Joker. Not going to be faster than Linton, but it is. it does have a type advantage right here. So here comes an Ember attack. Not so effective. Here we go. Water Gun attack for the win. And it's not really for the win right now. But let's go ahead and finish this guy off one more time. Here comes a Scratch attack. And that hit pretty hard, but here comes another Water Gun attack for the win. Say goodbye to Linton. Yes, sir. There we go. No more Linton. And the experience points, you can't forget about that. And, well, look at this. We grow to level 6. And, well, we defeated our first rival, and that is How. And he's like, hoo-ha! You received $100 for winning. Holy crud, okay, so that's, that's pretty cool right there. Whee! That gave me chicken skin. Draven, right? Your popular was awesome. Now that settles it, I'm going all out tomorrow. Tomorrow? And, whoa, hold the, hold the horses. Look, look at this. Hmm, Draven. Would you be so kind to give me the, uh, give me a look at that sparkly stone you have there? Sure, why not? I just found it right there. You know, I got saved by legendary Pokemon and all that stuff. But, yeah, yeah sure, why not? Go ahead. And, well, could it be? Tutu, isn't that... You were rescued by Tapu Koko at the bridge, isn't that what I heard, Draven? Yeah, it, rec it re rescued me. So, it even deemed it to give you a stone. Perhaps you were here in Alola, or you are here in Alola, Draven, because th this is where you were meant to be. Allow me to borrow this stone for now. Fret not, I'll return it to you tomorrow evening. Okay. It would seem that you have the makings of a fine trainer. You must do us all the honor by joining, joining our festival tomorrow. Okay, alrighty. Joining tomorrow for the festival. First, I'll make sure that you get back home safe today, Dra though, Draven. Lily, you two should come with us too, yeah? Wouldn't uh, want to go losing you twice in one day. You or the pr that pressured Pokemon of yours. Yes, I will keep my uh, keep an eye on. Oh, look at it. Oh, wow. Cosmo. Oh. I think that's what the name is, Cosmog or something. Q. Oh, you, you were, uh, you were, uh, you, or would you not not try escape area uh, moment that were that you were told not to wander off? Holy crud! And everybody laughs, of course. Okay, of course I get a text message while I'm recording. And here we are back in our mama's house. It's like, welcome back, Draven. So, what kind of Pokemon did you get? Don't keep me waiting. Bar. Oh, I think I'm falling in love. So why did you choose this sweetheart? Because it's cool. It's a pretty cool Pokemon. 
Well then, you picked right because I'd say this little charmer is definitely cute and cool! The two of you look great together. I feel happier just looking at, looking at the pair of you. Okay, so that, that's pretty cool right there. And well, Meowth is getting introduced. He's like, Bar? Okay. So we're all healed up. Look at that. We're all healed up. The next day. Dun dun dun. What a stunning sunset. Alright, today is the day I finally unpack. Question mark. Was that the doorbell? Go see who it is, Draven. Okay. Hold on just a sec, guys. I'll be right back. Oh, I'm back, baby. Okay, I had to take care of a little something. So let's go straight to the door right here and see what exactly we have to open up the door for. I'm pretty sure it has to be a secret admirer of my mama. And, well, I was completely correct because, yes, here he is, the secret admirer, Professor Kukui. He's like, hey there, Draven. It's about time that we set out for, uh, for the festival, yeah? But first... Now that you're a real Pokemon trainer with your own Pokemon and all, I've got to show you something. Come with me at, out to Route 1. Oh damn, oh damn. Okay, so what's going on right here now? Have fun at the festival, sweetie. I'm sure you'll have a good time with your Pokemon pal. Your new Pokemon pal. Me and Meowth will make sure to unpack every last box here, you'll see. Even my room, because that's kind of unfair right there. But okay, whatever you, you, whatever you say, mama. Okay, so... Let us move on to the festival right here, the festival of uh, mira mir miracles or miraculouses or something, I don't even know. Draven, hurry it up, because then pretend you're, uh, you're a Pokemon and use your agility. Not that fast, man, I'm not that fast, nor am I that Pokemon right here. So, let's go right ahead and follow Professor Kukui right there, and he's all the way up there looking at the, uh, at the sunrise and all that crud, and well, here he is about to teach us how to capture a Pokemon, he's like, yeah, over here. Okay, let's see. So, you know that the wild Pokemon will sometimes jump out at you at the tall grass, yeah? Now that you got a Poplio there, you can not only fight wild Pokemon, yeah, you can also try and catch them too. I'm going to show you how to catch a wild Pokemon, alright? Keep your eyes on the prize. And, well, here we go. The, uh, well, here we go with our very first uh, action on Pokemon capturing right here. And he's going to be sending out his rock roof, rock roof or something like that. Going with a piggy pack right here. And, well, obviously rock roof, the name says it itself. It does have an advantage over this Pokemon right here. And that right there will take it down a notch. And, well, well, look at that. We've got to weaken the Pokemon before lobbing it at a Pokeball at it. And yes, he's going to be sending a Pokeball just so you can try and capture this guy right here. So let's go ahead and use a Pokeball. I'm not even pressing any buttons. Why am I talking like if I'm trying to capture this guy? So here he goes, throwing a Pokeball at this guy. And that's one. There's two. And there's three. And there you go. He has finally captured a Picky Peck. Don't know if we're going to see that in the long run right there, but there it is. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, Pokemon do sometimes attack people if they get close, but catch them and they'll join your team and be a great help to you. Yeah. But if your Pokemon get turned out by fighting out for you, just head home for a bit. If you ask your mom, I'm sure she'll let you and your whole Pokemon rest up at home. Or you could use some potions. And here's some Pokeballs and potions just to get you started out. So there it is. We get ourselves a few potions, a few Pokeballs and all that stuff. Look at that. Ten Pokeballs. And five potions. So this is like more than we've gotten in the last few versions. And, well, why don't you have a little adventure of your own and on your way to Iki Town, yeah? Take good care of, uh, of Draven, Poplio. Okay, alrighty. So, our adventure continues right here. And, yeah, we're going to get attacked by the very first Pokemon. And, well, this, of course, is a piggy pack. It's got to it's gotta be a piggy pack. It has to be a piggy pack because, yeah. Now... I'm gonna try and battle it. I'm not. I don't know if I'm gonna try and capture it or anything like that, but I'm just gonna battle it, see what how this goes. But look at this. We use a water gun. Here comes a pack attack. Trying to grow Joker to a level freaking ten or something like that. So here we go. Water gun yet again. Eat this water. K 
can't really eat the water. You can just drink it. So there it is. Piggy Peck has been eliminated. More experience points for our Pokemon right there. And away we go. Now, this is taking a little longer than usual right there. So there we go. Now, there is an item there waiting for us. I'm not trying to get into a Pokemon battle, but we more than likely will, like right here. Okay, so, so let's see what the next challenge brings us. And here we have a Ladybug. Now, one... One thing that I kinda, kinda wish that they would have done it was, you know, give Ladybug a little bit more power, a little more of a version, and you know, in Johto because, of, yeah, not that strong. It is not a strong Pokemon at all. But you know, in it, it would look like, it does look like a, a regional variant of Alola. It looked like it would fit in well, well right here. So here we go with another Water Gun, Ladybug, still using its tackle attack, and well. Let's go right ahead and use a pound attack. Let's pound this guy to the ground. Look at that. Say goodbye to Ladybug herself. Look at that. Okay. And Joker has finally grown to level 7. Alright. Alright. Okay. So we're looking a little better. Okay. Now, let's see if we can get this item right here. Let's see. Grab this. And we found ourselves another potion, which is great. And look at the view out there. This is pretty legit. I'm actually, I'm actually very, very, um, oh damn, I'm very happy that I'm actually starting this walkthrough right here. Now, there is a Pokemon trainer waiting for us right there. We notice it, and this is exactly where the whole, like, the whole screen changing to it looking at you, uh, began right here with Pokemon Sun and Moon, and when the eyes of Pokemon trainers meet, it's time to battle. I thought he was going to say it's time to duel. So, here we go, our very first Pokemon battle. Outside of, you know, outside of our, our rival, it's uh, youngster Jimmy, and he's coming out with a Alolan Rattata, and, well, it's not, it's not going to be a, uh, it's not going to be a challenge for Joker right here, but yes, we're going to just do our best to beat this guy right here. So here we go, let's get this water gun, and look at that, Joker hasn't... Well, it's, it's strong, but it's not going to be that strong just yet. We still need to, like, just beat everybody else to get those levels. So there we go again with another water gun. And Radita has been defeated. And look at that, Jimmy. He's like, I lost. That's right. You lost, homie. Okay, so let us move on right here. And that is one taste of Alolan battles right there. And, well, before we do anything, look at the view right there, guys. Look at the friggin' view. The Alola region is a very beautiful place just to be, and, you know, I cannot wait to keep on exploring this whole place. Now, here we have another trainer. I'll show you what, uh, I'll show you my sister who I'm super close to. Huh? I didn't understand that. Alright, so here we go, another Pokemon battle, and it is a last Audrey, and she does have one Pokemon herself. Let's see what she has, and she's going to come out with a Caterpie, Caterpie, and let's go with a Joker right here. Okay, so let's see what happens right here. Let's go with a Water Gun. Let's just use it to the moon right here. So here we go, Water Gun for the win, and Caterpie not taking any of that crud, and it hits us with a nice tackle attack. So here we go again with another Water Gun attack just to finish this guy off. Bam, Water Gun for the win, say goodbye to Caterpie. Poor Caterpie. And Audrey has been defeated. Feeling great. I'm feeling good about that. Okay, so... That's that. Let's go right ahead and grab some more items right here. Obviously, we're going to be finding them right here. So there we go. We found ourselves another Pokeball. Something very, very useful. And... Well, let's go upstairs. Or not upstairs, but uphill right here. And we are close to Icky Town now. Would you look at that? Now that will eventually open up for us later on in our adventure. Right now we <laughs> we kind of need to take care of business with everything else that comes in between right here. So here we go with another Pokemon and I wonder what it could be. Here we have a Picky Peck yet again. Do not want to battle this guy. I kind of, yeah, I kind of, I, I just want to run away. Don't need to mess with this Pokemon right now. But yes, eventually I will train my Pokemon up. So let's see where else we can go right here. So let's grab this. Look at that. We found ourselves a potion. And well, let's see. There's nothing else that we can find right here except getting out of the grass. There are a few trainers that are waiting for us, like this guy right here. Let's go ahead and take this guy on. 
Hey, please battle me! You got it. Okay, so here we go. Another battle. We're taking on preschooler Oliver, and he... Well, yeah, of course, he does have one Pokemon, and he comes out with a Young Goose. Obviously, that Young Goose kind of looks like somebody familiar. I just don't want to say the name because, yeah. Evil, evil. Let's go with the Water Gun right here, and let's get this Water Gun. Young Goose is not... Yeah, it's not loving the water right here, so here we go, getting a little bit more weaker and weaker. So we got to use a potion at some point, so here we go, a water gun. And there goes Young Goose, down for the count. Poor Young Goose, I knew you too well, and Oliver has been defeated. He is crying, crying like nobody's business. So, let us move on right here. And I think there's one more trainer right here. No, we already defeated that trainer. So there's one more item to get before we, you know, get attacked by another Pokemon right here. And what Pokemon might that be? It's another Piggy Pack. Man, you gotta love these Piggy Packs. You gotta love saying Piggy Pack. Piggy Pack this, Piggy Pack that. And we gotta get away from that because we cannot get hit again. And well, let's see. Before we get it, before we do anything, let's go ahead and use a, a potion. We have to use a potion. All right, there we go. Joker is now restored, and well, let's go ahead and grab that item. And bam, we found ourselves a paralysis heal, which will obviously help us out in the long run. You know, we are infamous at getting paralyzed every single time right here. And what is the next Pokemon right here? And look at that, we are taking on a Young Goose. Holy crud! Holy crud. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and just uh, run away right here. Now we I, I know we're running away with a lot of Pokemon, but right now the, we gotta get we gotta get through this whole tutorial thing because trust me, guys, it takes a long time to get over this whole tutorial bullshit right here. And well, here we are in the festival of Icky Town. Everybody's chatting it up. They're all happy. They're nice. Look at the kids. They're all energetic. And here comes the Kahuna himself. The Alola region is made up of four islands, and each island has its own guardian Pokemon. Our festival today is held to express our thanks to the to these great Pokemon guardian deities for always remaining by our sides. Well, we may call it a festival, but it's just this little thing you see here. There may not be many of us, but at least every one, last one of us here goes all out. I could see that. Could definitely see that. Okay, so let's see. Yep. Okay, we already talked to this guy, so I guess we're gonna have to talk to How one last time right here. And well, let's see what this guy has to say. Oh, how is it, Dra Draven? Man, I thought that you'd never make it. Me and Linton have been waiting for ages. Grr. Hold on. Didn't anyone explain to you about tonight? Huh. Oh yeah, right on time. But to what exactly? Pew! Oh dang, okay. A fully powered festival for Pokemon battling. We battle in the name of Tapu Koko, pitting our best moves against one another in a friendly competition to please our guardian. Whew! So you two will be taking part in the battle? I don't like seeing Pokemon fight one another since they are so often end up getting hurt. But it seems like this is an important event, so I'll be sure to watch you both. Oh, what's going on here? Your Pokemon fight for you, so show them the same care in return, Draven. Allow me to heal them for you this time. Wow. Totally wasted my potion. I kind of... I kind of do that all the time. Are you ready for this Pokemon battle? Yes, I am. Okay, let, then let us begin. Okay, so look at this. Oh, damn. Okay, so yeah, the Alolan people really do go out. For all life on our islands. And for those who undertake the island challenge and joy in their hearts, we pray for your protection for them and all Mele Mele. May this Pokemon battle be an offering to our island's guardian deity, Tapu Koko. Before you uh, stand, how? Grandson of to Kahuna? Oh, damn, okay. Before you stand, Kahuna. Before him stands Draven, one who has met with Tapu Koko. Okay, look at this. Now, I wish I would have had a theme song to this. What? What a curious little thing Kapu Koko is. Ha! Huh. That's just typical of it. Poplio, take care of my little Draven. 
as long as we're both, uh, uh, as long as we both have a good time, then I think we'll call it a great battle, eh? Okay, alrighty, whatever you say. Draven, how? Bring forth your power to your Pokemon. Okay, so here we go with another rival battle. And it's against our good old buddy, How. Now, How does not strike me as a cocky, overconfident guy. He knows his place. He knows what he's doing. He's certainly not like a, you know, <clears throat> Sword and Shields kind of rival. You know, that guy that we dog stomped 1,500 times, you know. That guy. And, oh, crud. Okay, so we're taking on a Pichu. I got one Pokemon right here. Luckily for me, Pichu is not that strong. And, well... It's going to take a lot just to beat Pichu since it, it does have a type advantage right here. And, well, using Charm, it our attack harshly falls right there. And that really doesn't do much. So we're going to have to go with Special right here. And here comes another Charm attack just to make sure that we don't hurt it even more. Good gravy. I was really kicking our butts right now. But here comes a Water Gun. Oh, no, not for the win. But let's go one more time with the Water Gun. And holy crap, another another Thundershock for that. And well, there goes Pichu down for the count. Yeah, maybe I should have caught another Pokemon. I'm just thinking. So here goes Joker with a level 8. And it's learning Disarming Voice, a fairy type attack. Now, here he comes out with a Litten. And well, I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to give it a potion just to make sure that, you know... It survives the next few attacks because Linton may have learned a few good moves here and there. Don't want to risk it. So here comes an Ember attack. Not strong enough. And, well, here we go with another Water Gun attack. Now, if you guys have noticed, Pokemon Sun and Moon is the very first version of games that actually give you the description of whether or not a move is stronger than is stronger or effective against a certain Pokemon. So we gotta thank that. We gotta thank the games for that. And look at that. We grow to level nine. Joker, you are a beast. So there we go. Pokemon trainer How has been defeated, and I am feeling great about that. Look at that. Okay, okay. Another great battle this year. I bet Top of Coco liked it too. Whew. That was awesome, Draven. That was a really great battle. I had the best. Uh, I had a blast fighting you. It was a good battle. With this, even Tapu Koko. Oh wow, Tapu Koko is a uh... ho ho! You heard it yourself, Tapu Koko, song of approval. Oh, I nearly forgot. I think it's time to uh, time you take this, Draven. And here we have what is it? What is it that we take? Bam! Our communicator to Zordon. Get ourselves a Z ring. Wonder what that does. Kind of wonder what that does. Okay. And, well, your Z-Ring is a mysterious armband that can draw out the power that lies deep within Pokemon. I can bring forth their deep power. We Kahunas can make them, make them uh, by refining stones like sparkling stone that you receive from Tapu Koko. Although, you, uh, although until you collect more Z-Crystals during your Island Challenge, you will not be able to draw out the Z-Power of your Pokemon. And yet, you have already received that sparkling stone. It seems Tapu Koko took quite a liking to you, or perhaps it has a mission for you. In other words, it is time for you to get out there and start your island challenge. If you visit every island, maybe you'll figure out what the mission is. Uh, let's see, the island challenge, what the heck is that? Four islands. You'll travel to each one of the four islands here in the Alolo region. The island challenge is about aiming to be the strongest trainer. The island challenge champion, woo! Sounds great, right? I can't wait to have a real adventure. I'll explain about the Island Challenge later. Hmm. Okay. Alrighty. So, what happens next? Let's see. We're, we're going into the whole cutscene right here. And, well, our newest girlfriend from Alola, Lily, she's like, Tapu Koko is amazing, isn't he? I hope we can meet up again someday. And thank, uh, thank you to, uh, for saving Nebby. Phew! Me too? It saved you as well, didn't it? And left you that sparkling stone, even though you're a stranger to this place. Suppose it's time we get uh, home, yeah? Then I suppose this is goodbye. Okay, alrighty, so... 
Here we are back home with our mama and she's like, Honey, I'm home! Mwah! Oh, Draven, you're back already. I thought that you would want to stay in the Iki Town longer. Especially right after the great battle. Ooh, I was captivated to see my own boy fighting in such a perfect sync with his Pokemon. Maybe it would be a great idea for you to try that island challenge, uh, challenge thing. It's something you can do in Alola, right? But right now, I've got a date with my bed. I dance my feet off all at the festival. Night, night, sweetie. You get some sleep, too. Okay, alrighty, so we're getting some sleep. And look at that. Getting my Mimis right here. Okay, alrighty. The next day. What a beautiful weather. I wonder what today will bring me. Oh, damn. A visitor! If it's Kukui, he'll probably let himself in without even want waiting for us to open the door. Uh, I guess so. So, let's go right ahead and take a look at who is, uh, you know, who is knocking at the door. And obviously, we're going to take a look. And, well, it is our friend Lily. Mm, 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 mm. You're looking fine as always. Oh, um, the professor said... Hmm. Hey there, Lily. Bring me the great new trainer. Woo! So I'm here to show you the way to the Pokemon Lab if you if you come fine with me. It's um it's this way. Draven. Oh look at this. Mama's waiting for us, and she's like, "Here, a little pocket money for you. Don't go wasting it on anything too silly." And well, there is pocket money, and oh, well done, Draven. You're already making friends, aren't you? And what a cute little friend you found. I knew Alola would be a great place for us. We just keep meeting wonderful people here. <laughs> well, thank you. My name is Lily. It's very nice to meet you. Oh, yes. Our mama's doing She's like helping us pitch the woo right here. Looks like it's finally time for you to shine, sweetie. Enjoy yourself out there with Poplio. And don't go... Uh, don't, don't be gone too long. Okay, alrighty. Alright, mama. Well, I will see you in a little bit then, okay? And, uh, well, our girlfriend here is like... You, you have a nice mother, don't you? We should get going. I'll show you to the Pokemon Research Lab. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, guys. So, we're going to pause the game right here. Uh, it, like I said, yeah. These these two episodes, uh, it's going to be, you know, every episode is going to be a little bit longer just because of, you know, the beginning and all that stuff. But once we get the adventure going, it's going to make sense to us. So, again, thank you guys for supporting the walkthrough, for watching my video and all that stuff. I will see you guys next time for part three of Pokemon Moon right here on my channel. See you guys.